Now at 6, Friday Night Football is tight on security at one school after threats were made there earlier this week. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Bryant Reed is live in Groton right now with more on the security measures that are being put in place. Bryant. Yeah, Mark and Stephanie, yesterday students approached Fitch SROs and saying that threats were being made against the school for the football game that night from people who didn't initially go to the school. And because of that, the game was supposed to be yesterday at 6 p.m. It was canceled, then postponed until tonight at 4 p.m. The game is actually going on right behind me. Now, there are some stipulations that were put into place in order for this game to go on. Instead of the usual 6 or 7 p.m. start, as I mentioned, the game kicked off at 4 with heightened security. Players from both schools are only allowed four people to come watch them play, and those friends and family members were put on a list and were made to check in with a photo ID before the game at either the Fitch Gate or the NFA Gate located in a different area. Now, outside of friends and family on the list, only students are permitted to go to the game tonight. No one else from, in, from outside the community is allowed, and parents say it's really frustrating this is happening. So things have gotten out of control. Kids are acting out for whatever reason. So it's unfortunate, though, because everybody else suffers. So, you know. But, you know, night games will end up going away at some point, probably. Now, the threats are under investigation, but sadly, this isn't the first time that this has happened this school, this, uh, this football season. This has happened at several other schools across the state since football season has started. We've even seen fights and arrests, but thankfully, so far, this game has gone on, gone on without any issues. For now, live in Groton, Brian Reed, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.